So you're thinking about moving to Livermore, California? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over Livermore's most sought after neighborhoods. I'm gonna show you where each is located, talk about the homes in each neighborhood, as well as some of the pros of living there. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you which neighborhood has the highest price per square foot that I'm sure will shock most of you. And we're gonna get into it right now. Welcome to our comprehensive guide on Livermore's five most sought after neighborhoods. Now, whether you're a potential home buyer or just plain curious about these vibrant communities, we've got you covered. Now, one of Livermore's largest draws is its rich history, small town feel, great downtown, vast amounts of wineries, economical housing, and of course, the rodeo. So let's explore the first most sought after neighborhood on our list, which is Sunset East. Sunset East is situated in the eastern part of Livermore between Home Street and Arroyo Road, as well as Concana Boulevard and College Avenue, offering a more suburban setting with a family-friendly atmosphere. The community is composed mainly of single-family homes, but there are some condos and townhomes. It was established in 1957, although some homes were established as late as 2021. Now, since this well-established neighborhood was mainly established between the late 50s and early 60s, you'll find a mixture of mid-century modern homes and more recent construction. Now, the homes here are mid-sized floor plans and sit on spacious lots, providing ample space for outdoor activities and gardening. The average single-family home ranges from 1,300 to 2,300 square feet, and the lots range from 7,000 to 12,000 square feet. And as for schools, Sunset East is serviced by the Livermore Valley Joint Unified School District, ensuring access to quality education for its residents. Now, some of the schools serviced by the area are Sunset Elementary, Mendenhall Middle School, and Granada High School. Now, some of the pros of living in this community is that it's a family-oriented community. Sunset is not only cherished for its family-oriented environment, but it also uh, has numerous parks, playgrounds, and recreational facilities nearby. And it is serviced by, of course, some of the top schools in Livermore. So it's an ideal choice for families seeking a safe and welcoming neighborhood. The next community on our list is Portola Glen. Portola Glen is a serene neighborhood. It's composed of attached homes such as condos and townhomes, as well as single family homes. And it was established in the 90s, 1990 through 2000. Now the neighborhood offers a mixture of newer homes and well-maintained residences. The single family homes are characterized by spacious floor plans on large lots that provide privacy and room to entertain. Now the average single family home from uh, ranges from 1,800 to 3,400 square feet, and the lots range from 8,000 to 13,000 square feet. Residents of the Portola Glen have access to um, excellent schools within the Livermore Valley Joint Unified School District, just like all the other neighborhoods here in Livermore. Some schools that service the area are Lawrence Elementary, Junction Middle School, and Livermore High School. Some of the pros to living here in Portola Glen is its tranquil ambiance, surrounded by picturesque landscapes, greenery, community park, and walking trails, making it an ideal escape from the hustle and bustle of city life. The attached homes in the community do have an HOA, but the single family homes do not. Now the third neighborhood on our list is the Oaks. The Oaks is nestled in the northern part of Livermore off of Alden Lane along Wood Hollow Drive, providing a peaceful retreat away from the city center. Now the Oaks was established in 1998 all the way to 2001. Now this newer neighborhood offers modern amenities and contemporary home designs. The home's characteristics are modern and spacious inside and out. This community is perfect for those looking for contemporary living spaces. Now the average home ranges from 2,700 square feet to 3,300 square feet, and the lots range from 9,000 to 14,000 square feet. Now, as for schools, the neighborhood is serviced by Emma Smith Elementary, Mendenhall Middle School, and Granada High School. And if you're wondering why they call it the Oaks, uh, one of the great features of these homes are a lot of times the landscaping includes an oak tree, whether in the front yard or in the backyard. As you know, they're just absolutely beautiful. And all of the street names are the names of trees. Now, some of the pros to living here is it's quiet streets and family-friendly atmosphere, making it an ideal choice for those seeking a serene living. 
Now, as well as top rated schools and close proximity to major freeway junction like 84 for a convenient commute to San Jose. Another great perk is the community's close proximity to large wineries like Ruby Hill and Ravino. One could take a 10 to 15 minute bike ride or a four to five minute drive to the wineries. And lastly, as you may have guessed, this community does have monthly HOA dues. The fourth neighborhood on our list is Christopher Ranch. Christopher Ranch is located just past the Oaks along Home Street just before it turns into Valacitos Road. This is also a newer community of single family homes characterized by large floor plans and mid-sized lots. The community was established in 2000 to 2004. Now, a lot of these modern homes have Italian touches like arched ornate doors, tile roofs, and natural stone accents in the front. The average size home ranges from 2,500 square feet to 3,600 square feet, and the lots range from 7,500 to 10,000 square feet. The neighborhood is also serviced by some of the top rated schools in Livermore as well. Now, some of the schools that services the area are Emma Smith Elementary, Mendenhall Middle School, and Granada High School. The community is located right up the street from Sycamore Grove Recreational Park and many sports parks, allowing families tons of activities like bike riding, hiking through the beautiful trails, and allowing convenient access to sports games over the weekends. Not to mention, Christopher Ranch's prime location offers families a shorter commute to San Jose from anywhere else in Livermore. All one would have to do is follow Valacitos Road down to 680 South to San Jose. Now, some of the many pros to this community, other than the top rated schools serviced by the area, is how family oriented and quiet the community is. Neighbors tend to look out for one another and they actually have a very active neighborhood watch program that makes neighbors feel safe and protected. Now the last and final most sought after neighborhood on our list is downtown Livermore. Downtown Livermore is the heart of the city, offering a mixture of historic charm and modern amenities. Located in central Livermore, this neighborhood is perfect for those who love the lively and walkable community. The neighborhood boasts a rich history with many homes dating back to the 20th century. You'll find a variety of architectural styles from Victorian houses to craftsman bungalows. Homes in downtown Livermore come in various sizes and styles from cozy cottages to large family homes. Lot sizes tend to be on the smaller size due to central location, offering a mix of urban living and suburban charm. Families in the area have access to schools known for its excellent educational offerings. Some of the pros of living downtown is the walkability and community events. Living in downtown Livermore means enjoying a vibrant community with easy access to restaurants, shops, and cultural events. The lively nightlife and frequent community gatherings make it an ideal spot for those seeking an active lifestyle. And of course, you may have guessed it, downtown Livermore has the highest price per square foot because of the sheer location to all the amenities. Location, location, location. Well, there you have it, a comprehensive overview of Livermore's five most sought after neighborhoods, from the historic charm of downtown to the family-friendly atmosphere of Sunset East. Each neighborhood offers unique characteristics to suit diverse lifestyles. Now, whether you're looking for urban excitement or suburban tranquility, Livermore has something for everyone. So happy house hunting. If you found this video helpful, then click that like button and shoot me a comment in the comment section and let me know what Livermore neighborhood you'd like me to explore next. And be sure to subscribe below or tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to hear about the current market here in Livermore. I'm Michelle Lewis, the Michelle Lewis Real Estate Team, and I get calls from people just like you looking to move to Livermore, and I absolutely love it. So if you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. All of my information is in that description below, and I'd love to help you make that smooth move to Livermore, California.